This is Iman Rashid, and he's a martial artist. He's the head instructor at Quest Martial Arts School and contributor to the Modern Martial Arts YouTube channel. With 15 years of training under his belt, we wanted to know what he thought of the over-the-top climactic fight from Yakuza Kawami. If seeing experts break down and reacting to stuff is your thing, well, we have quite a few of those on this channel, so consider subscribing to see more of those. All right, Iman, take it away. Oh, is that Yakuza? Dude, I like, God, that's made me so happy. I love the Yakuza games. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pause that. Um, ow, okay. Uh, yeah, that's super not okay. A lot of schools don't allow leg locks because of how dangerous they are. So, um, like grabbing someone's leg and like twisting it in a certain way. I'm gonna say in like the UFC or the kickboxing championships, where you definitely can't do that. You can't just grab someone's leg and elbow it straight down, which is already an illegal move, and break their leg, you know, the other way. What I find just weird about that is that uh, the other guy had his knee clearly bent. So his knee was bent. And once you bend your knee, it makes a stronger point for your knees, you know, less, less damage you can take on your kneecaps. Uh, Cause when it's straight, it's like, it's right about to like, like break the other way. So I find it funny that his elbow is so strong that it can force the kneecap to go down and break the entire leg, which I've never seen before, or I've never heard of happening, or I don't even know if that works, but. Damn! Definitely illegal, just breaking people's legs in half like that by striking it. Oh boy. It's so cool. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna pause there. <laughs> that was, I've never seen that. I've never seen a double <laughs> hook punch. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because one of my students, um, he, he, he makes up moves because, you know, he, he's a kid and he's like, this is called the double, like, knockout. It's where you take both your hands. You go like this. So I'm just thinking of him now and now I'm laughing. Um, but uh, uh, I've never seen like a double hand like this. Gosh, I don't even know if that's illegal. That's just something I've, I don't know if you can even pull it off because like, what if you miss? Like, if you miss, you're going to punch yourself in the fist and probably pretty hard because you were trying to kick the other person. And then he used the grip fist hands to slam the person's head down to the knee. That's hilarious. So you're saying you can't do that? I'm saying that it's so obscure and such a weird thing that I don't even know if they have considered that you can't do that. Maybe someone in the comment section would know. So, you know, let us know. I would love to be educated. <laughs> okay, pause already. Palm tracks are great because, um, I don't know if you guys have ever punched someone or something, but it, it freaking hurts. You know, your, your knuckles hitting something, you know, most people don't have conditioned knuckles. And even if you do have conditioned knuckles, it still hurts after a while of, you know, punching someone. But the palm is just, uh, you know, it's just softer. It hurts you less and it hurts the other person less too. I think it's a good one to, we, we teach the kids for like, you know, school bully self-defense is you don't want to punch someone because that can do some damage. But a palm strike is more like, it still will have an impact but it's a little, bit, a little bit more peaceful. Like it won't like give anyone a black eye or, or too much of a bruise. It's just uh, softer, um, but there's less reach. You know, this is the extent of my palm. But if I make a fist, now my reach is like, you know, like a, maybe one or two inches more. And that, that one or two inches makes like a huge difference. Even without the conditioned knuckles, some people, they don't have tight wrists. Like um, when I first started punching bags when I was a kid with the bare knuckles, I would constantly like, blah, like my, my knuckles would roll and like my fist would do this and do this and do this. And it took a while for me to like strengthen my wrists to be able to punch every time without rolling my fists at all. So yeah, it's just punching is hard. People think it's easy. It's not, it's actually really hard to do. Okay, I'm gonna pause. There was a leg kick that just happened. He kicked the guy behind his leg. That's fine in MMA. Like if they expose the back of their leg to you and you kick it, that's okay. Just usually your opponent wouldn't expose the back of their legs to you because it's such an easy target to kick. And there's a lot of tendons there. And if you drive your shin right in, uh, that'll hurt a lot. So that'll like give you a dead leg. But I don't think it takes much to pop in someone's knee if it's fully extended. Because when someone's knee legs are fully extended, it's already at like a, a point where like there's so much pressure on the knees already because the, the weight of your body is on the this is the, this is the kneecap right here, right? There's already so much pressure 
because the person's standing, you know, on their legs. So all their weight is, you know, on their legs. So just by popping it in, you know, using a little bit of force and having that fulcrum there, um, I guess it's like, it's like high, it's pretty, probably pretty easy to collapse it down. It's really easy to do a lot of messed up stuff in fighting. It's just what usually stops us from doing it is like our own human decency. Like, like I, I've never personally broken anyone else's arm or like, like snap anyone else's, uh, um, like ligaments in a match before. I've just heard from like certain people or like uh, just um, uh, people in the army or people who, uh, you know, have been through that. It's like, uh, apparently it's a really traumatizing experience and to break someone's arm, like you have to like, like it's, it's almost like a, the same mentality of like, uh, jumping into like an ice cold pool or like, I don't know, d doing something where you're like, okay, like, like I'm going to do it like on a count of three, like, like one, two, three, no, I can't do it. And like, it's, it's just, apparently it's the same mentality as that where like, you have to kind of like, like really get in the headset of doing it and just kind of pull out that like aggression in you and just break the arm. Um, Cause apparently that stuff, like hearing the bones crunch and like, and then hearing the person scream, um, twisting the arm, apparently it just, it, it messes with your mind. It's like, a, it's something that sticks with you, you know, for for maybe like the rest of your life or, or, or a good amount of time. Um, it's such a messed up thing to do. <laughs> oh, okay, pause. Uh, you can't stomp. If you're stomping on your opponent, there's a lot of weight there. A stomp is really effective and practical in self-defense. Um, because it's, you're putting all your weight down into your foot and like not only is gravity helping you but your own body weight is going onto that foot there so it's it's very legal because it's just a very painful painful and easy move to do don't stomp people thanks for watching if you guys want to find me you can find me on instagram at velocity i know it's spelled weird uh you can also check out the modern martial artist youtube channel where my friend david does a lot of breakdowns of boxing matches and actual you know matches in real life I help out do a few breakdowns there myself. And if you guys really want, you can purchase Mortal Weapons. It's a graphic novel that he and I wrote. It's about actual usable fighting techniques that you can use all crafted into a story of a man who travels across the world to fight worthy opponents. Um, and let us know in the comments down below if there's anything else you guys like to see, any questions you guys have, um, or anything you guys have to suggest. I'm always open to learning as well. So, all right, thanks guys, I'll catch you later. Kurt here, producer dude of this video. I just wanted to jump in super quick and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If there's any suggestions, any other clips, or just more Yakuza you wanna see reacted or broken down, drop them in the comments below. I read all of them and I take all the suggestions into serious consideration. And if you just wanna see more of stuff like this in general, let me know, say that too. Okay, I'll let you get on with your day. Thanks again, see you later. Be cool and stuff, all right. Bye.